You may have seen at the top of this course that this class is not designed to be negotiated on a cell phone. It's really designed to be used on a computer. The cell phone doesn't really display things as I have um, envisioned them for you to see them at home. And a lot of students who depend on their cell phones get really lost. So let me show you what our course should look like if you're using it properly on a computer. I'm going to turn on screen share here. And if you go to our home page, what you'll be seeing is something like this. In the upper, can you see the cursor moving around here? In the upper left hand corner, there's a button that says home. If you click that, you'll always go back to this display where you'll see the course laid out like this. And it's pretty easy to follow once you understand the basic setup of the course. So there's a welcome, there's the syllabus, week one, getting started. There's a page here, uh, intro to intro to literature, a little quiz for you to take. Um, and then I have it divided up so we go to the lecture content in every week. There's some lecture material here that includes videos from me and some written materials from me. Um, then there's these little discussion threads where I'd like you to click on the discussion thread and add your thoughts by typing it out on the computer. Um, not with two thumbs on the phone, okay? Um, and then we have um, every, uh, every week we have an after week one, before week two, after week two, before week three section. These also sometimes include exercises and discussion threads. Um, notice that every single week is pretty much set up the same way. So here's week number two. There's the lecture. There's a little quiz. There's some discussions. And then after week two, before week three, there's some information for you there. Notice there's a study journal and attendance form. And I ask you to fill these out for two reasons. One, so you can kind of just check off a list of all the things that you're supposed to be doing, but also just for me to see if I've design, designed the course correctly and if you um, are spending way too much time, way too little time on the course so we all know where you stand as far as like the kind of progress that you're making. And it really helps me to keep track if students are getting lost, okay? I want to show something here that's pretty important. These generating exercises are designed for you to just think about one aspect of the short story at a time in week number two. So there's a generating exercise about um, the setting, uh, the scene setting. And there's another one about character development. And there's another one about the concept of suspension of disbelief. Um, once you do all of these individual little brainstorming exercises, you'll find that you'll have way more than three quarters of your essay finished. You can literally copy and paste those rough ideas into one long Microsoft Word document, and you'll have most of your essay kind of roughed out. You can edit and move things around and copy and paste, throw some stuff out that doesn't work. Um, and it's a really good way of helping you get started on the first essay. So let's go back to the top here. I, I want you to see, let's go to week two. Week two is probably a better example of this. If you go to the first page on week two, this is how I've designed it. So there's a little video from me talking to you about character development round and dynamic characters. Watch my video and then read all of this information. You get down to the bottom of the page. It's a lot like a textbook. You click next to go to the next page. Bottom right hand corner here, click next. Boom, there comes the next page. Another little video from me. I'm talking about the denouement. And so there's written material, there's a video, there's a little cartoon. Get down to the bottom of the page, click next. And if you read through every page of the week, much like reading your textbook, um, you get to the end and you'll get to um, the, the discussions and the quizzes. And it's not a bad idea to go through the entire week first and just read what's coming up so you know what you have. And you might even want to read ahead to the future weeks so you get an idea 
of what's coming up next. I hope that makes sense. If you have any problems at all learning how to negotiate the structure of this class, don't hesitate to send me an email. I'm very friendly. I want you to succeed, okay?